One of the biggest mistakes that you can make in a lifetime is following the same path of destruction that your family has been on. Let's talk about it. to the most high Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another righteous spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. How many times have you heard people talking about generational curses, you know, talking about family history? Oftentimes we see this when it comes to the medical profession and doctors and nurses asking, "Do your does your family have a history of this?" And then there's all these different boxes that you can check that will help, you know, medical professionals determine and decide what you're probably going to be highly inclined to deal with at some point, just due to family history. Man, before I go any further in this, make sure you smash that like button. Man, that's free, doesn't cost you a thing. Man, if you like this kind of content, consider subscribing to the channel. Turn your notifications on. Check out my affiliate links and exclusive discount codes that can save you some money in the description box. Man, it wasn't until I was about 26 or 27 that I realized the significance and importance of analyzing, you know, my family history. It wasn't until I was on the end of a failed marriage that I had to humble myself and say, man, let me analyze all of this data, you know? Do I come from a family of men that obey the Most High Yah? Or do I come from a family of men that rebel against the Most High Yah? Do I come from a family of God-fearing women? Or do I come from a family of women that rebel against the Most High Yah? Do I come from a family that has a history of abusing alcohol? Do I come from a family that has a history of abusing drugs? Do I come from a family where uh, adultery is prevalent? fornication, sexual immorality, you know, covetousness, always wanting what somebody else has and trying to keep up with the times. Man, it wasn't until doing that analysis, humbling myself, looking at the eaches, realizing what cloth that I was cut from you know, this was the point at which I realized, man, I've been created in the image of the Most High Yah. But even knowing that, you know, you have to make, you know, even in knowing that, you have to make some critical decisions in life as a man or as a woman to be able to walk even in that thought, in that image of godliness. Once I realized that there weren't too many men and women in my family that truly obeyed the word. That was my call to obedience right there. Man, I grew up just like a lot of other men and women, grew up in Christianity, grew up in religion. But what I saw was a lot of religion and very little righteousness that you read about in the book. You know, over 4,200 years of history from Genesis to Revelations, even including the Apocryphers. Man, in almost every book of the Bible, there's something in there about obedience. Man, when I made that choice to get filled with the Spirit of the Most High Yah, the Ruach HaKodesh, the Holy Ghost of the Holy Spirit, as some know it, man, that was the 
point at which I said, I'm no longer gonna be a victim of circumstances and poor decisions historically that I've made, other people in my family have made, and I'm not gonna walk in that anymore in that victim mindset. It was the truth of the Most High Yah and learning how to live in a manner that's pleasing to him that I said, you know what? Just because I'm in the body of a man, just because I feel like I'm grown, to be born again means to humble yourself, relearn everything. So doing a deep dive into the word, you know, if there was something that I struggled with understanding, generally that was an area that I might've needed deliverance out of. And I was sticking that for a while until I experienced a breakthrough experience deliverance man but i want to encourage men and women out there to just analyze your family history because there's so much data there that could show you what your future looks like if you keep going on the path that you're on but the word tells us to depart from our wicked ways and in doing that man you'll find salvation you'll find protection you'll find peace, joy, long suffering. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Check out that link in the description. Closer to y'all ministries, kicking it gun barrel straight.